this. We got this. We got this. And we got one more that we ordered and it will be delivered to the house. But because we are in the interest of supporting our local store, we did make sure that if we ordered it in store to be delivered to our house for free, since they didn't have it, would it still count towards Columbus's sales? And yes. So yay for trying to keep our local store in business. Do as much purchasing as we can there instead of online. Anyway, this is Claudie's travel outfit. Um, they did not, as I mentioned, have her coat in stock just yet but I'm gonna be honest we're a smaller store and Columbus often gets things a few days after other stores even other smaller stores like Nashville so I was pumped to get it period um, and to have three out of the four things on the very first day that they're available in stores feels like a huge win so I'm gonna start with this this is the one I was most expecting them to have, right? Because it's the illustration from her second book. So I'm glad. I'm really, really excited about this entire release. And in the display, everything was in glass, so we couldn't touch it. So I'm getting to touch everything for the first time. All right. comes with these lovely brown shoes cloth laces versus like faux leather they're like cord they remind me of like um, camping like nylon laces they're very light there's the inside stitching this is interesting it's kind of at an angle um, Hold on. Just want to show you this. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, it's kind of sewn like at an angle this way instead of this. It's like a little bit that way. Like, I don't care one way or the other. I don't know why they did it that way, but it's fine by me. They're nice. This is really precious. I love this blue. The ribbon is gorgeous. It is finished. So it won't fray. And then the dress, ooh, it's really soft. Um, I'll have to think of like which, which thing they've put out recently that feels like this, but it's very soft. It does not feel stiff at all. It's not like, um, you know, Mary Ellen's PJs or anything. It's just very, very soft. It's a lighter and brighter blue. Um, more of a royal blue than a navy based on the illustrations. I thought it was going to be more navy, but I like it. The collar gets quite wide in the back and it's squared off here. These lift up. And then nice stitching underneath. Not a whole lot of extra elastic used here, but you don't need it. You don't need it to be too poofy. There's not a ton to say about it other than it feels really nice. Um, it's going to look gorgeous on and it is about time that Claudie got some more love. And then the socks. I'm not going to take the socks out. They're just regular white socks. Nothing really to them. But I think that they look really cute with the outfit. Oh, this is interesting. So these are the boots that come with her outfit. Dark brown laces. These are the yellow laces shown in here. And a little bit lighter stitching because you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but right here looks like lighter stitching. 
And this is definitely not lighter stitching. These, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, well, I will put it on her at the end, but for now, um, let me put it back in here and remind you of the price. So, $34. I think that's not bad at all, especially for having a nice hat. Um, I think this is really nice. Next up, let's go with her travel accessories. And this sucker, it's plastic. You'll probably have seen this already. Um, it, it is plastic, but it is heavy. I'll put the weight somewhere up here um, just to tell you. And I might even compare it to some other luggage or something. Yeah, when we picked this up off the shelf, I was like, whoa. For, for kind of looking like cheap luggage, it's got some weight to it. So, By the way, this is $40. So, Claudie's Travel Accessories, $40. Let's take it out and see. So, the stamp is on the bottom with a little serial number. Here's the lock. And we'll get to everything that's in it, but first, oh, oh, wow. Okay. Hold on. Not a big deal, just kind of a fun fact. Let me get this back out. So look at the laces. We got yellow laces here, brown laces here. This is what we ended up getting. But I wonder if they did if this was a prototype, if they just clicked the wrong color when they were, you know, editing in Photoshop or if some of them did come with yellow laces. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see what this says. Claudie wants to look her best when she travels from Harlem to Georgia to meet her family for the first time. She wears a pretty polka dot dress and summery straw hat to keep her cool and comfortable on the exciting road trip with Mama and Cousin Sydney. Claudie believes that a journey away from everything she knows will be the inspiration she needs to finally find her talent and write a play to raise money to save the boarding house she lives in and loves. Claudie's eager to learn her family's story, the story she wants to tell. And then it goes on to show to tell more of the things from the second book. So I don't want to read any spoilers. I'll just cover that up in case you haven't read it. But um, I'm going to come back to this because I want to show what's in it first. And then the pamphlet becomes more relevant. So first, this looks like, okay, 1920s. But also this could easily be in Joss's collection. This is timeless. Like, this could be any modern dolls. So, it's not beautifully lined inside or anything. It's kind of just loose. It's a very, very stiff material, like a coarse canvas. And then, all of the goodies. Her hand mirror. Um, I think, is there some plastic co coating to come off? Maybe not. It looks almost a little frosted, but I don't know if that's to, meant to mimic the times or it certainly doesn't really reduce glare. It doesn't look like there's a plastic, like a sticky thing. So I'll have to look more carefully. I love the beveled edge here. Sorry, I guess I could put it in the middle. I love this beveled edge. It obviously fits well in the time period and has a nice handle. So that's one piece. And then this 
This is Madam C.J. Walker's Wonderful Hair Grower. The Madam C.J. Walker from Indianapolis, Indiana, price 50 cents. And I was told that this has a faint scent, so let me take it off camera and do a sniff test. You know what? I'm not the right one to do a sniff test right now. Getting a little bit of a cold, but maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. This might not have been what they meant. They might have meant the um, tooth powder. I'll, I'll sniff everything just to be sure. <laughs> this, by the way, has kind of a textured feel to it, almost like a record. Okay, I went through and pre-cut all the tape because you certainly didn't tune in to watch me struggle with tape. Okay, this is rose tooth powder, and it doesn't come off, so this can't be a scented anything. Doesn't have a brand name, but just rose tooth powder, and it does kind of shake. And for your tooth powder is a travel toothbrush. And it does snap all the way in. That made me a little nervous because it did take some pushing, but there's the toothbrush. I think it's got a little, it's plastic, but it's got a bit of a wood grain, so it's meant to look like it's wooden. It does take some work opening it and shutting it. Makes me a little nervous, but there you go. Some more Madam C.J. Walker's product. Let's see. I don't want to rip anything. There we go. Open from the side. Gently. Complexion and toilet soap. Ooh, this is it. This has a lovely scent to it. Okay, I'm duly impressed. Sorry if it wasn't in focus. I'm like at a very weird angle. Okay, so it's got nice little flecks in it. It has a really nice texture. I don't know if I'll be able to catch this, but it almost looks like it's had water on it that's kind of run off, so it's a little uneven here and there, and it's really nice. It's got this butterfly imprint on the other side, and it smells like even from here, and I'm a good 10 inches away from it, it smells lovely. I have a horrible time um, identifying specific scents, so I might let some other people sniff it and try to, like, up here write what we think it smells like, but it does smell lovely, like, very nice, pleasant soapy. And then the last thing in this little packet is her butterfly hair clip, which I would imagine also came from Madam C.J. Walker, given that the, um, Butterfly on here matches the butterfly on the soap. And it's kind of a, a, a thin, it's not super flimsy, but it has a little give. Um, and But it's meant to mimic a tortoiseshell hair comb. So there we go. I'm very pleased with this. Up close, the plastic looks less cheap. You know, with all of this extra texture on here. And it certainly feels really hefty. I think this is lovely. And $40 I do not think is bad at all. There's a lot of attention to detail here. So again, with these eight pieces for $40, which is not bad, um, the pamphlet says... Madam C.J. Walker was born Sarah Breedlove in 1867 on a Louisiana cotton plantation where her parents and older siblings had been enslaved before the American Civil War. Although she grew up very poor, she founded a hair care company in 1906, provided jobs for thousands of African-American women, and hosted national sales conventions. In 1913, her daughter, Alelia Walker, persuaded her to open a beauty school and branch office in Harlem's thriving community. When Madam Walker died in 1919, she was known as one of America's first self-made women millionaires. 
She funded educational scholarships, supported the arts, and was an advocate for social justice. You can still buy Madam by MCJW Products today. So, in her travel suitcase, Claudia packs a mirror, tooth powder, folding travel toothbrush, and her comb. She also packs Madam C.J. Walker's soap and hair pomade, created especially for black women's skin and hair. I love that. I love that, and I hope others do too. I'm really excited about this. All right, and then the last one that we have, because we've got the last thing on um, order, is Claudia's Christmas Accessories. So... Also $34. All right. So first thing we notice is this lunch tin. I love, I love that it's a metal tin. A lot of the historical dolls have these types of metal tins. That's nicely made. And then, what do we get to put in it? These, um, based on the display, are probably my least favorite of this set, which are still nice. Um, I just, something about the color or the glossiness of them feels very much like play food and not like real food. I don't think it's the color of the bread, um, whatever this carb part is, this crust, this cookie. Um, I think it's this. It feels more like lacquered Play-Doh than something I would eat. But maybe that's how these are supposed to look. I do not know because I don't know exactly what they are. Maybe it will tell us inside. And if it was mentioned in the book, I don't remember. Oh boy, really long tag. I guess it could be worse. It's only as long as the bunny is. But let's get a closer look at this bunny because it's adorable. Little strings. I love that. One black eye and one black eye that's surrounded by the brown fur, except for the brown fur in this case is embroidered. Here it's just like printed on, but this is embroidered. Very cute. Then the yo-yo. Okay, as I'm getting this open, I think the, geez, that is heavy. Um, the yo-yo is plastic, but it's got a wood grain. And when we were in the store, I could not tell that it wasn't wood. And now that I'm feeling it, I can't tell that it's not wood. It's only because I see this that I can tell for sure that it's plastic. But that's how long it extends, which is about right for a doll. And then we've got a postcard. It's a Christmas postcard and on the back it says Dear Grandma, you said you don't get snow in Georgia, so I thought you'd send I thought I'd send you some from Harlem. Merry Christmas with love, Claudie. And she's sending some by way of a snow covered postcard. And then here's Velveteen Rabbit. Or How Toys Become Real by Marjorie Williams. which most of us have read this book. I didn't realize it was originally published in 1922, but that means it would be pretty much brand new. I'm just going to flip through and show you some of the images. This is really cute.
Very cute. All right, so there's a different booklet for this because the two previous ones went with the travel stuff, and this goes with the um, Christmas peacoat and the Christmas accessories. So, Claudia loves the special sights, sounds, and smells of Christmas time in Harlem. She bundles up in her fur trimmed mint green holiday coat and hat and strolls past trees decorated with garlands and glass balls sparkling in the park. Church bells chime in the distance, and the sound of carolers singing holiday favorites wafts on the frosty air. Street corner sellers offer cheery holly sprigs for sale, and flower shops showcase festive holiday wreaths. The spicy scent of pines tickles Claudie's nose. And then it gives some more information. I usually just read the first page because I don't want to give away too much, but let me know if you want the rest of it. Um, and then here's a poem by Langston Hughes, who is mentioned in the books, Winter sweetness, the little house is sugar, its roof with snow is piled, and from its tiny window peeps a maple sugar child. Aww. Langston Hughes was a famous poet, novelist, and playwright during the Harlem Renaissance. Hughes published this poem in a collection of children's poetry called The Dream Keeper. His first published writing was for children, and he kept writing for children throughout his career. Hughes loved jazz music, and its rhythms shaped his unique writing style. And there's the cover of The Dream Keeper. There we go. So this is what we're waiting on, and I don't know if I'll post a separate video just to do that, um, but I'll at least, I don't know, we'll see. But we should have that in a week. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed an early look at all of these um, lovely things, and I will put some pictures here at the end so you can see her in her outfit. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, I may not do a video this weekend since I was kind of pushing to get this one out as soon as possible. Um, and I may do something kind of brief midweek, but next weekend I am going to be uploading a huge video. I'm so excited. Um, I finished the downstairs, the basement space that I've been working on and it looks, look, I don't believe in false humility. It looks freaking amazing, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Like, I just go down there and can't believe this is now our extra doll space. So, um, full tour of all the doll houses now. All the doll houses, like five and counting, um, will be next weekend. So, if you're not subscribed or you don't have that notification bell on, now is the time to do so, so that you don't miss out on that video. All right. Have a lovely afternoon, evening, or morning whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.